of girls needed to hear that because I think a lot of young women or women in general are watching videos on the internet on how to get with a rich man or a wealthy man or a man that is well to do. And you can't just jump in that game. You can't just watch a few of those videos and think you are emotionally ready. Don't think you are ready because somebody, he will pull your card very quickly. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again. And I'm back with some more foolery. But I came across this page this morning. Um, Ashley L. Dalton. She's a content creator, does the um, dating advice. You know, first time looking at some of her stuff. And um, I looked at one of the videos where she was talking to this young lady who had the opportunity to meet this guy, rich, you know, wealthy guy, one percenter, and fumbled the mess out the bag. Just fumbled it, messed it up. And she gave her some nice advice and stuff. So that's why I did this video. Like, she just basically told her. Uh, I'm going to put the link to the full video. I had to chop it up because it was long. Um, put the full video uh, link in description. I mean, link in the description. And go to her page. You know, subscribe. You know how to support the pages. All right. So let's get at it. She fumbled the bag. Okay, I just came from the gym. There's not even lotion on my face, so please, okay? My dog wants to say hi to y'all. Um, so I've been listening to you, been listening to Cher, like, literally daily, right? Did all of the things. Before I even get started, like, one thing I had to work on is my own emotions. Like, I know that I have to, like, figure that out. Um, I've been in therapy. I'm divorced, whatever. So I live in the Washington, D.C. area. Met this guy. He lives an hour away from me in Baltimore. He's definitely in the 1%. We're both Nigerian. He comes out the gate, like talking about his expectations. And I, he asked me, what do I want? Like he tells me he has a list, you know, he asked me, what do I want? And I just said an unlimited MX. Like, I felt like that was just, you know, I, I can cover everything else, right? So he asked you what you want. And the first thing comes to your mind is an unlimited credit card. Yeah, let's see how this play out. He already see what's going on, but he's probably going to see how it go. Let's check. Let's just. So he was like, okay, fine. You told him when he set his expectations, you just said flat out unlimited Amex to him. Yes, because his vibe is like, like he really wants um, a support, you know, like a wife, kind of like all the things, like a really feminine, submissive woman, right? um he's very clear about what he wants he's divorced as well so he was just telling me what he wants like straight up he wants like two more kids you know just like literally listing so he things wants two more kids. he wants two more so he already has children yes he does have kids so he's not that much older than me though and like i feel like usually hypergamous relationships work with people who are a lot much older than you he's six years older than me um so i didn't know if the age gap was like big enough but um he was really into me so I went with that we went on several dates um the first date he came to me again we live an hour away the second date I agreed to go to him the third date I was supposed to he was supposed to come to me but something happened he was just getting off a plane I was just like oh my god I could come to you I shouldn't have done that I went to him fourth date he's like okay he sends me the link for the place it's beautiful I look at the address it's where he's at and I was like, I can't come to where you are. Like, he's like, why not? I was like, I have a nail in my tire. The next day he replaces it. He gives me, he like tells me to go to the spot over the phone, pays for four brand new tires, right? Now, pay attention to what she's saying. I like how uh, this lady, Ashley, is um, talking to her. So she's letting her talk, which is cool. She's letting her talk and tell it. But the young lady is like a lot of other ladies that say they want these one percenters, they want these rich guys and all this stuff who never had one before. So at this point, everything is on, oh yeah, I kind of, you know, this is what I always wanted, this is the life, blah, blah, blah. But the guy was very specific about what type of woman he wanted. That what she wasn't paying attention to. She just was paying attention to what he has 
not what he really wants. Check it out. That night, he asked me to be his girlfriend. Elated. I'm like, everything I've been doing is perfect. Like, I love it. I'm so happy. Like, I just, I feel comfortable in the idea of having, not, I don't want to say transactional relationship. Like, I was kind of judging myself at a time for, like, wanting this hypergamous relationship and not wanting to, like, fall in love and, like, Disney story and all that kind of stuff. I was judging myself. But I think I'm more comfortable in, like, knowing what the expectations are, knowing what you're going to give, what I'm going to give, right? So as he's asked me to be his girlfriend, he's again listing out his expectations. It's like, like Ashley, he's like, you have to stay in the gym. You have to learn how to cook my traditional food because we're both Nigerian, you know, and other things. I'm like, okay, cool, cool. He asked me again, what, what do I want? Other, what are the other things that just go down a list? But um, the only two things that stood out was like my weight or like staying in the gym, his favorite soup and don't be clingy. Sometimes he comes back from work, he just wants his own space. Like he's, and he literally said, he said that he was just like, you know, you don't have to be all in my face, go watch Netflix, go shopping, do whatever you want. Like that's what he said. And I'm like, okay, bet. So he's leading with money. Okay. He's always talking about money, right? See, she keeps saying he's leading with money, but he's not leading with money. He's telling you, I mean, he has money. He don't need to lead with money. You see everything he has. He's telling you what he wants. Again, you're not paying attention. He wants somebody in the gym, which means he wants a fit woman. He wants somebody to cook his meals. And he wants you to be feminine and submissive. And looking good. He probably just wants you to look good. Look good, cook him something to eat, and just kind of stay out of his way. That's pretty much what he's asking for. And he's going to take care of you. But you can't do that. Because you ain't used to one of these dudes. What? Like even with the tires and everything, I hadn't slept with him until he asked me to be his girlfriend. I sleep with him. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I think I already know what you're about to say. But um, so the next day, like he asked me to work from home from his place, which I love because he has like a beautiful like penthouse, like overlooking the harbor. It's gorgeous. Like who doesn't want to work from there? That, that day too, he loves my dog, my dog loves him, my dog loves the place, it was great. Like he let the dog sleep in our be the bed and everything, it was fine. Um, which I, you know, thought he was not gonna like that because my dog sleeps with me, but it was fine. So, as, like I, I have my own business. So I'm on calls in the morning, he came from the gym, I heard him come and leave, he texted me that he left. And I was going to say to him, like, can you leave the card on the table in case I wanna go out and get lunch or something like that. It's funny how a lot of women will talk about their education and their jobs, their entrepreneurship, what business they own and all that. But at the same time, you're sitting here talking about, I need your stuff. Now, this woman already said she has her own business. She made sure she said, I got my own business. I'm on call, blah, blah, blah. But then you turn around and say, I wanted him to leave his card so I can go get something to eat. He probably thinking she don't need my car because she has a business. So if she got hungry, she can just get herself something. You know, not every time you need something, you coming to me. Because a lot of, you know, a lot of people be trying to see where your heart at with stuff and see if, you know, you're just trying to use them or what. And they kind of just lay it out there. But again, you're not used to it. So you think, oh, I'm just going to use the mess out this dude. All right. Keep. Okay, so just so we're clear about where we are with the story, you go to his house the night he decides to make it official. You're his girlfriend. You finally cross that line. You have said you are intimate. The next morning you wake up. He's on a call. You're in the gym. You got to stay fit. You come back upstairs. He's about to head out. So you're like, hey, babes, you know, you can call him babes now because you guys are together. Can you leave the card on the table? This is where we are in the story. This is where we are, but except for it's switched. I'm already on the call. Um, I wanted to say to him to leave the card on the table, but I was on a call. So like, you know, he didn't, he just texted me that he was leaving because he didn't want to like come into the camera where I was at. Um, so he just texted me, you know, have a good day, whatever. And so I didn't get a chance to ask him for anything. Um, actually, this man is kind of intimidating to me, okay? He has like a very fancy house, not to sound like ratchet or anything, but you know how you pull out the trash can and it has like either trash or recycling. He has like four different compartments. So she kind of explained. 
She kind of explained where she's at. She explains what type of woman she really is. You were, I would say, flabbergasted and pulling out his, his garbage bin and he had his recycles broken down. I don't, and also, I mean, I'm not like a cleaner or whatever. Like I'm not, he has a chef, he has a maid, he has like a designer, he has like all of the things. So I don't really know exactly where I fit in to this and we'll just put a pin in that. But um, I didn't well, really- Before you go further, it sounds like you're saying you don't feel like you're enough for him. That's what that sounds like to me, but we can keep going before we go back Maybe. to that. Maybe, right. I'm not gonna throw that out. Like I kind of talked to my therapist about this a little bit too. And they feel like I don't think I deserve, I feel like I don't deserve this, which I don't think is inaccurate as well. I think I just did all the things. I usually look cuter than this, I know. <laughs> but like, you know, I feel like whatever. So I'm just in his house kind of feeling nervous, like nervous. I think like he makes me nervous. He's very intimidating. He's like a big boss, whatever. He calls me. I'm actually in therapy and he's just like, oh, what's up? How was your day? And I was like, oh, I'm about to leave. He was like, oh, I wanted you to stay. And then I was like, well, I haven't showered yet. He's like, ew, uh, and we're like joking around. So I hang up the phone and then after therapy, I decide maybe I shouldn't leave because he said he wanted me to stay, right? So I eat my leftovers from dinner the night before and take a shower and like, I'm just watching Netflix. He comes in like hesitantly to the room and like is pissed or something like that. And I'm just like, okay, maybe he had like a bad day at work. I'm not gonna get in my head about it. Cause you know, I have anxiety. I'm just like, okay, let me just not even think too much about it. Just from that little bit right there, I know what's, I know what's wrong with him. He's, he's told this woman specifically what he wanted. He wanted someone to be in a gym, someone to cook him some something and be, pretty fit feminine you know just be whatever pretty girl and he come home so he walks in the house he doesn't smell any food he noticed she didn't go to the gym this morning he walks in the room he probably sees stuff out of place in his house because he seemed like he probably a neat dude and he walk in the bedroom or wherever she works she probably sitting in the room have eaten probably got a container still sitting out because she said she had leftovers and now he's looking at her like, you just taking a shower because I call you later today and you hadn't taken a shower. And he's probably looking at her like, this chick lazy. She's going to wait for me to tell her to do this again, like physically tell her. She's lazy. She says she's not a cleaner, all this stuff. So she don't pick up after herself. She said it. And see, when he walked in, he see it. And I'm going to explain something about that later that happened to me when I was younger. Let's go. He goes downstairs. He's like, oh, I didn't know you were going to be here, stuff like that. And I was just like, oh, like, you know, I, I'm, I thought, I mean, I don't remember what I said, to be honest. He's like, well, I have like jerk chicken downstairs. So he goes down. I'm like, I'm not, naturally, I want to go down and be like, how was your day? Da, da, da. But I didn't. I just stayed in the room because he was saying that he doesn't like all of that after work. So... Um, he comes back upstairs, gets in the bed, falls asleep, like, immediately, right? So, so not even acknowledging, like, hey, babe, come cuddle next to me. Like, he doesn't grab you. He doesn't touch no, you. No, we do cuddle. We cuddle, but he, like, you know, I, I, you know, go over to him and cuddle with him. Okay. And, so um, he, no, no, no. So I'm asking, there's a reason I'm asking this. So he gets in the bed, almost turns his back to you. No, and you're no, laying there. Or he, okay, go ahead. It was fine. It was normal. It was normal. Okay, it was normal. Okay. Um, but, he, but he falls asleep though, quite quick. He's, he asked me like if I was still watching the thing, he changes the channel and falls asleep. And then in the morning, like in the middle of the night, um, we like cuddle, he pulls me, did it, you know, stuff like that. But he doesn't like initiate sex with me or anything like that. In the morning, it's like he woke up, like he opened his eyes and put his feet on the floor in like the same motion. And then I was kind of in and out of sleep thinking maybe he went to the bathroom, but he just never comes back. And I was just like, okay. So I texted him. Comes back. He just, so he got up out the bed at his usual time. Cause it sounds like he has a routine. Yeah. He got up, got himself together and walks out his house and just leaves you in the bed. Doesn't say anything to you. Nothing. Nothing. Um, so I feel like he, I was asleep though. He, he thought I was asleep. So, um, 
And I kind of was in and out of sleep. And so I texted him, are you at the gym? Like I packed up all my stuff ready to go. Cause I was like, maybe I'm like annoying him or something like that. So like being here for too long, I don't know. So I was just like, let me just get my shit. So I texted him, hey, I'm leaving. And then he um, was kind of upset that I was leaving without saying goodbye to him or whatever, but it all was cool still, right? So yeah, I'm also, cause he was like, oh my God, you were snoring so much. He sent me like a gif of like, whatever, this ugly snoring person. And I was like, who took a picture of you sleeping? It was funny. We were just joking around. What? This this young lady just don't get it. This man told you he wants somebody in the gym. So when he got up, you should have been getting up or already getting up and heading to the gym. You laying in the bed, and he probably looking at you like, she didn't go to gym this day. She didn't go that day. She didn't mention how long she'd been there, but it seemed like she's been there for a while because she done went home and got her dog and brought the dog back. A lot of stuff she left out, but... She just don't get it. She thought she met this man. This man got all this money. And the only thing I'm going to do is sit around her like most women think and just run up his cart. Like most women think I want to travel. I want to do all this stuff. I want to go shopping and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And these men, these 1% or 5% or whatever you want to call them, supposed to just sit there and, and not require anything of you. But the only thing he required from her was what? One of the first things, be in that gym. And she hadn't been in that gym since he brought her to the house. I don't, he seems like very, a very particular guy. Like for him to joke about the bath thing, for him to joke about the snoring thing, it sounds like he likes his woman, very, like he only wants to see a woman in this cookie cutter form. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong, but he doesn't want to see that too soon. It's a lot of things I want to say, but I'll let you keep going. And so basically, I was very dumb, very, very, very dumb. And I thought everything was cool. And he had already sent me like a card to use for something else. And so I asked him if I could use it for another thing. And like the messaging was just like, after that was just. And then finally, the next day, he like was like, he sent me a very long message about how um, Things were kind of like how he didn't like what things looked like when he got home. Um, he like I didn't tell him that I was still there um, and that asking for to use his card was very selfish um, and that he doesn't think it's going to work. And I got really upset, like very upset. And I was like, I hope nobody treats your daughters like this. You had sex with me. <laughs> you got what you wanted. And now is now you're just making up shit. Like literally, like I popped off. Um, and I regret having done that. He was still going back and forth with me a little bit, um, trying to say like he doesn't need to, you know, manipulate women for sex. Like women are all, you know, which is true, you know, it's true. Um, but I was just mad and I was just saying shit. So my question is, girl, I apologize because my therapist is male. And so my therapist was like, girl, you're tripping. So I was he was I was just like, you know, telling him stuff. He was like, well, what would it feel like to, you know, tell him? So I like sent him an apology text. Like, I'm sorry for saying all of that. You know, I should have never brought up his daughters ever, ever. Um, and like, whatever. So I I sent that, but I didn't hear from him. And so I'm wondering if I should like call him or if I should just drop it. You should drop it. Okay. Yeah, that's a wrap. Yeah, that's a wrap. He's he's not doing that no more. And like I said before, I, the little story I had was um, when I was younger, I remember I was seeing this young lady. She had two kids and she came to my place. I don't know if it must have been the summer and stayed for two two weeks. And the time she was there, the same thing is that when I would come home, she would be there. And the living room, you know, because most living rooms, you walk in into your living room, it's like apartment. Stuff everywhere. And I wasn't used to that. And we would get into it over. And to in her mind, she didn't think it was cluttered or whatever because she's like, I was like, it's dirty in here. And she was like, well, it's not dirty. In her mind, dirty is dirt. When I'm saying dirty, like, it's cluttered. So, but either way, stuff was all over the floor. 
and she didn't clean. That's the biggest thing. She didn't clean. Uh, she didn't pick up after the kids, and she didn't do all this stuff. And I just told her, like, you know, this ain't going to work. You got to go. Because every time I came home, even if I was in a good mood, as soon as I hit the door, now I'm in a bad mood. Because now it's like I got to get into it with you to get you to clean this stuff up, or I'm going to have to clean it up and not say nothing to you when I should have just been coming into the house and sitting down. You see what I'm saying? So you ladies don't like to do housework and all that stuff. Stay away from men that got shit going on. Y'all y'all just stay with it with them bums. It's time to move on and you could take it like as a learning experience. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say a learning lesson, but a learning experience. And a man like that, I think men who are wealthy, men who have a lot of money, are very particular. I'm not gonna say all, but I'm gonna say most. Some of them, I'm not gonna say all of them, may want you to be up before they get up. So he may want you to get out the bed before he gets out the bed, done up, hair done, worked out, completed, breakfast on a stove to perfection. He doesn't wanna see you comfortable in the first six days. Uh. So he says, she showed up to the day, I'm just saying this particular guy, who you're talking about. You came together pristine. Now you in the house eating popcorn, Netflix, hair up in a bun, and he don't want to see that. He doesn't want to see that. Yeah. I hate to say it. I never thought about that. He want to see you done up. He had a long day. He want to see pretty to perfection, a little Barbie doll. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, baby. How are you? Hello. I know that's not for everyone. I'm not saying you have to change for a man. I'm not saying you have to be that for a man. But if you want to date a certain type of man who has a certain type of status, who is a one percenter in the world, then honey, that's what comes with the territory. And from what it sounds like, he don't want you to snore in front of him. He don't want you to what? Fart in front of him. He don't want you to look tired, smelly, and not bathe in front of him. He's very particular. He wants you to be like a little Barbie doll. It got too, you got too comfortable too quickly for him. Not with the one percent. You can't. No, but so this is it. This is, I use, normally date one percent white guys. Usually. This okay. is the first time I ever dated black, a black man who's in one percent. And I feel like it's a different, it's different. But I think men are men, right? I think. Mm -hmm. Men are men, they're black and white women. We have gray areas. He said, oh, I don't think this is for me. The best thing you could have did was said nothing, packed up your bag and walked out. Say la vie. It's completely up to you, patience. I mean, I feel like after the whole, you went off on him. It's like, yeah. and you said you were a feminine woman, you know, and to him, feminine means you don't curse. You don't look, your, your, your voice doesn't go above this octane right here. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> and you went up here he said oh no yeah i because somebody in the comments said she fumbled back and i do feel like that i feel like it's my fault and like i can salvage it you know but i'm i'm feeling like that's probably not true yeah you blew that and then you try to bring up oh i don't date the white one percenters no you hadn't because if you had you would have been used to the place the the lifestyle, the things, they don't let you just sit around and do nothing all day and not call you their woman. No, no, you can get off that. You dated maybe some guys that had a little bit of money, had a little something, but not a 1%. Let's be real. But either way, yeah, you fold the bag. You have to study and you have to read a man. You have to study and you have to read a man. And you have to read between the lines. So if he was at the dinner table saying, I want you to be fit, I want you to be focused. I want you to be feminine. I want you to be all the things because there are men who say that. Then that that sounds like to me when he mentioned the joke about you didn't bathe yet. You still in shower. You still in the bed. You were snoring. It was almost an ick for him. It was like, ooh, turn off. So ladies, if you're playing that game, if that's the game you're playing, if that's the game you you. Yeah, you have to be emotionally equipped. Okay, guys, I couldn't have said it any better. Um, ladies, pay attention to what he's telling you. He's telling you what he wants. If you want to be there, that's what you got to do.
Well, everybody, that's it for me, your boy. And I got to get up out of here. Be sure to go subscribe, like, share, hit that notification, and support the channel by becoming a member of the channel. Hit that super chat, super sticker, and super thanks. That's how you support the channel. And as always, and always, it is your boy, Mr. Nobody. And I'm up out of here.